Sorry I'm being lumped on you again. But uh, there it is. Um, I'll talk a little maybe and some of us can talk. Um, do we square to what the Bible says on suffering? Because the Bible says suffering is a, a necessary quality. As you can't have glory without suffering. So we better understand suffering if we have glory. Uh, the scriptures are full of it. The great victory chapter, of course, is Romans 8, full of it. The moment he speaks about our um, inheritance, Romans 8, he says, uh, um, uh, 17, if children, then heirs, heirs of God, oh, joint heirs with Christ. Oh. If so be it, we suffer with him. Oh, on condition we suffer with him, that we may be glorified. The two are bound together, aren't they? Our heirs, joint heirs, ooh, if so be it, you suffer with him. Then, glory. And the whole of this chapter, we call it a victory. This is not the victory chapter, it's the groaning chapter. It's full of groans. So unless you're groaning, you're not there. Uh, this chapter says that the, uh, uh, the, uh, the whole, the creature, verse 22, the whole creation groaneth. The whole creation, verse 22, groaneth in pain. Not only they, but ourselves also. So we're co-groaners. Bible says so this is a victory chapter. This is not the approaching chapter. This is the, uh, uh, the, the uh, arriving chapter. So we'll, we've arrived in groaning here on earth. And then it says the Spirit grows with us too. The Spirit grows with us. if it cannot be uttered. Likewise, the Spirit helps our infirmities. For we know not what we ought to pray for. That's interesting he says that. Make his intercessions with his groanings which cannot be uttered. And uh, the, 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 uh, this chapter, this is the victory chapter of the Bible, isn't it? Chapter 8. No separation, all that, no separation. What it end by saying? The last verses of this chapter, it says, um, um, as it's written, for thy sake we kill all the day long. Not, li not alive all day long. Kill all the day long. Read it. I say we better be Bible readers. Read it. See what it says yourself. Verse 36. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. That's not something about in earthly marble, pa marble, marble palaces, is it? I counted as sheep for a slaughter. That's, that's Romans. Uh, look at Corinthians. Um, uh, this mighty Paul, who does some sharing and confessing, Second Corinthians is quite a confessing, confessing letter. He says, um, uh, he's comforted, he says. Uh, uh, he comforted in all tribulation. Verse, ch chapter 1, verse 9. Uh, for, for we had the sentence of death in ourselves. Uh, uh, that we should not trust in ourselves. But in God, so he went through something. He was trusting, mighty Paul trusting himself. That's something in it. A little bit of Satan in it. <laughs> uh, sentence of death. Yeah, now don't stop. Don't stay there. Don't stop with that suffering stuff. What's the answer? We, uh, uh, sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raised the dead, who delivers the death uh, from death and 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 and, uh, and did and doth deliver and did deliver and so on. Um, Chapter 4, uh, he says it's a continual dying. 
not only a dying 2,000 years ago, a, a, a dying of the Lord Jesus continual. Continual. Chapter 4. He says, uh, um, chapter 7, verse 11. Verse, no, verse 7. We have this treasure in earth and vessels, that the excellency of the, power, excellency of the power may be of God, not of us. We are troubled on every side. Ooh. But not to distress. Trouble means you feel it. But not distress, you feel it. You're troubled, but not distressed, because the divide between trouble and distress. You're perplexed. Oh, we get mixed up a bit then. This is Paul, perplexed, but not in despair. Separate into perplexity and despair, but there is perplexity. So there is, there is trouble, there is perplexity, there's persecution, well we know a bit about that. We're cast down, not out. Cast down, but not destroyed, cast down, but not out. We are cast down. So this is the mighty Paul. Well you do, if you do better than Paul, you do pretty well. I don't, I don't just pass that one. <laughs> See what I mean? Always bearing about the dying of the Lord Jesus. Not his death, his present dying, that's in me. The dying Lord Jesus, I'm bearing about the dying. There's something in me which is dying. Always, always, always. So that's a strong word, isn't it? Continual dying, continual glory, continual dying, continual suffering. Um, uh, and uh, the, the, the opposite, the, because the life only comes out of death, that the life may be manifested in our body. But the life is only manifested because there's a dying. So the life is in my body, it shows it. It says here, my body. I hope you're following in the Bible. It says here, the body. Um, about the, body, the dying, the life of the Lord Jesus while he manifests in our body, so it's uh, physically operative. It sh shines out of us. Yet the basis has been a dying, if that's arising. That's strong stuff. Verse 11, for we which live are always delivered unto death. We're stuck into death. God sticks us into death. Sticks us in. Always delivered unto death. That the life of Jesus may be manifest. And uh, uh, then he does call it, in verse 17, our light affliction, some lightness. <laughs> our light affliction, which is for a moment, some moment. <laughs> Uh, 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 works it for us a far more exceeding works so to operate one one perfect, one builds the other up doesn't it they're connected the suffering works at the glory they're connected our light of Christian works for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory light suffering so we call it light doesn't, doesn't feel light down here at the start weight glory it's something. Uh, one of the chapters he says, uh, um, oh, a whole list of them. But um, he says, uh, 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 with, 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 without uh, authorities, with inner fears. Oh, I can't find that. Somewhere here. Without a suffering, but inner fears. And he says uh, that. Chapter six. Thank you. Six somewhere, isn't it? The whole, of th the whole of six is tough. Uh, some, uh, the whole chapter six is um, in stripes, imprisonment, in all these things of proving ourselves ministers of the cross. Well, how? By their patience, afflictions, necessities, distresses, stripes, imprisonments, tumults, labors, searchings, fastings. Wow. That's mounting glory. And then in uh, Second Timothy, in his last letter, before he was executed, uh, he tells Timothy again, um, uh, uh, it's a faithful saying, 2 Timothy 2.11, if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we, if we be dead with him, we shall live with him. If we suffer with him, we shall reign. And that is again. If you want glory, you have suffering. 
if you are reigning, you are suffering. If you suffer with him, you, if, and, and it says if you, if, you, if you don't suffer with him, you won't glory, doesn't it? Uh, if we suffer with him, we also shall reign with him. And then the pattern. Uh, it, 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 it becomes God that we perfected the suffering. Not perfected glory. It becomes God. It suits God. That's a strong thing, isn't it? It suits God, it fits God by, it says, for whom are all things, by whom are all things, to make a captain of our salvation perfected through sufferings. Number one, so the person, the captain, the leader, leader. That's in Hebrews 2, where he's made like unto us. I, I hear this, all the, all the rattle of the pages being turned all around me. In my deafness, I hear it. Uh, Good thing to be deaf sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure we need to be more Bible-minded. I do believe it. I do believe it. Unless I can get it from my Bible, I'm not safe in the end, you know. The Bible's got to be interpreted by the Spirit. I've got to have it in my Bible first. Have it in the Spirit. I must. So there's something there we've got to keep reminding ourselves of. And uh, this in uh, 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 last year, uh, Fred gave us a whole series on Hebrews. It was very good, a whole series in our, in our, in our talk, uh, in Blowing Rock on Hebrews. But here in Hebrews it says that, um, uh, verse 10, we see Jesus, verse 9, we see Jesus made a little lower than the angels. He might taste death, very man, for it became him, God. It, be, it becomes him, it suits him, it's right. This, this is fitting for God. What's fitting? For whom are all things? By whom are all things? In bringing many sons unto glory to make the leader of them perfected through sufferings. What suffering then? And then verse... Uh, um, it, it, uh, it, it caused temptation of suffering. That's in... in the, uh, 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 in, in chapter 4, it's in chapter 2, I think. My eyes aren't very good these days. Uh, the, the, the last, thank you, last verse of chapter 2. For in that he himself, having uh, himself, has suffered being tempted. The word temptation is, and the word temptation and trial are the same thing in the Bible. So in some senses temptation is an inner pull to try, uh, the, the trial is out of impact somewhat. We're tempted from inner pulls, trials hit us from outside. Same thing, the same word in the, in the original. He suffered being tempted. So there's suffering in being tempted, or tried, tried. There's suffering in it. And um, then in the, in the great description, the amazing description of, of, of the perfect pioneer of our salvation, I think we quoted yesterday, it says in the, in the, uh, uh, fourth, fifth, fifth chapter, um, uh, who in the days of his flesh, verse 7, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears, this is Jesus, to him that was able to save him from death, was heard also, he heard also, that he was, was heard also, in, oh, was heard in that he feared. I'll read it again. Who in the days of his flesh, when it offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and his strong words, strong words, aren't they? Unto him was able to save him from death, was heard in that he feared. He wasn't saved from having death. He was saved from the of death. He went through death to resurrection. He wasn't saved from the outer death, but through the utter death came resurrection. No death, no resurrection. So the salvation didn't take place. He was saved from the cross. 
because with there hadn't been a cause for me resurrection. So there is a the resurrection comes out of the death, out of the death, out of the suffering comes the glory. It says so here, and then it, then it, uh, it uh, uh, kind of digs it home. It goes on to say, um, oh dear, my eyes have to, um, uh, oh, uh, yes, then, um, uh, yeah, next verse, 2 Corinthians, uh, he Hebrews 6, Hebrews 5, for 8. Though he was son, yet learned he obedience to the things which he suffered. What's happening? Is this a, is this a suffering? <laughs> <laughs> from, it is for my eyes. What's up? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, thank you. I get it from inside. <laughs> thank you. That, thank you, dear. Caring for the poor and needy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, love. Um, see here? Um, Though you were a son, not, uh, yet learned he obedience through the things he suffered. We talked about yesterday about you learn the thing and get it. About becoming a doctor and all that. How you become a beer, become a, beer a godder. By learn, uh, you learn obedience, you learn it. Obedience, of course, is for yes, obedience is the process of believing. The only obedience we have is not doing it, but believing it. Because he's, we believe he's the doer. So all the doing, be, all the doing we do, the real doing, is believing, and then uh, that he's the doer, and then we do it as, but he's, we're doing it, then is he doing it. So then that's, uh, that's the learning obedience, we know that. We had talked about that yesterday. Um, being made perfect. So he's perfected through suffering. It says, perfected through suffering. And he settled in something. Settle it. So suffering, settle you in something. What's that mean? Settle you in something. And being made perfect, he then became the author of eternal salvation unto them who went the same way, the obeyed, obedient way, to those unto whom them to obey him. Remembering all the time, obeying is his believing, because we're so geared to thinking obeying is working. Obeying is the obedience of faith. We had that yesterday, uh, 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 Steve brought that out to us again, the obedience of faith. So it piles it on, doesn't it? See, what is suffering? Suffering is what I don't like, that's all. Suffering is what I don't like. Quite plain. <laughs> Maybe spirit suffering, or soul emotional suffering, or body suffering. I don't like it. It presses me to find a remedy. That's the secret. It presses me to find a remedy. That's why the great care God says, life is inside you. Subjectivity is truth. Object is outside you. You always escape it by saying, oh, it's out here somewhere. Real life's answer it inside. Uh, his great words, existentialism. You live in existence. Existence inside you. How do I handle that? How do I make that suffering operative? You live from inside you. Not, oh, I get off it somewhere. It'll go, it'll go tomorrow. It'll leave off for tomorrow. Life is not objective. Sub objective is ha uh, operating by, oh, they're out here. We'll, we'll handle them. Subject means, what's that mean to me? Why is that like that? I must find my answer inside me. And that's dialectic. That's opposite. Doesn't, I don't like it. Ah. I've got to find a, a remedy. This thing I don't like inside me. Oh, I thought it'll, 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 be, it'll be fine the day tomorrow. That's not the answer. It's, fine, it's to find the day in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the storm. That's subjective. Objective says, oh, it'll, find, it'll be fine tomorrow. Subject, he says, it's a fine day, day. It isn't a fine day, it's a bad day. Find out how to find day. Find how a nasty day is a nice day. That's inside you. That's subject living. That's existential living. Existence is inside you. Existence is inside you. I'm a, how do I handle that? How do I make, how is that really workable to me honestly? Not just saying, oh, it'll be nice tomorrow. 
this is the life. And something forces me, if I'm real, to find my answer inside me. And then out comes my body. It says, if you bear the dying inside you, and find out how to die and rise inside you, it comes out then out of your body. You show, you show it. It's spontaneous. Spontaneous. So you say, something here. It forced, and the glory comes out of suffering. And the perfect person has to be perfect, uh, has to be a perfect sufferer. Learn the obedience, uh, when he be made perfect. Uh, 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 be made perfect through sufferings. So I'm not made perfect as I handle sufferings. Not made perfect through victory, or through glory, through suffering. The Bible says so. Number one person, Jesus, perfected through sufferings. And when he knew, the, knew how to handle it, turn the sufferings, the glory came out of the sufferings. How is that done? Because sufferings forces me to be what I don't like. And face it, I don't like it. Sufferings, I don't like it. Like Paige, I, I, I couldn't hear too much, but where Paige was saying, yes, I don't, I, he, she hated me, I couldn't stand me. We all have done that, hopefully. Hated me, but I must forget to, how do I like me? Now, I don't find outside by pretending something. How can I turn a nasty me into nice me? I've got to get my answer. That's why Kierkegaard, for those who read him, is the great teacher. He says, the answer is subjectivity. Subjectivity means subject inside you. Object is outside here. Subject means it's in me. For you must find your answer in you. And it starts with conflict. I don't find an answer. I don't like it. How can I tell I don't like him that I do like inside me? See, that's the, that's the secret of the cross. That's why Jesus said, or Paul, uh, uh, Kierkegaard said, you see, you, um, how can you handle your sins? How can you handle your sinhood? A baby said, how can you handle your sins? By a leap of faith inside you, that he took him away. Now that's absurd. Where's God? Where's this resurrection stuff? You've leapt. The absurdity of it. Oh, he, I, I believe he did it. I believe in the resurrection. I believe in the, and the, the Holy Spirit to give me. Uh, so I, 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 I dissolve my sin problem by my Jesus problem inside me. Oh, he took him away. Salvation, new birth, new birth. Oh, he took him away. You, you had the inside solution. You couldn't be saved unless you were miserable inside. You had, but you had to be inside. And the whole world tries to escape their sins. That's the objectivity. Oh, this terrible world they use today is mistake. They call it adultery mistakes. They, it's a horrible way to talk about girlfriends. We're in a bad life. Girlfriend is usually fornication and adultery. We never say so. Our papers are full of girlfriends. We see the fornication and adultery. We never say so. Oh, this is the Bible says so. Or we might call it a mistake. Just a mistake to sin. Oh, the world escapes. Objectivity is that he's a girlfriend. Often you read the best people of the day, like this poor fellow who resigned for the girl, from, 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 from standing for the president, you know, because he'd been attacked on the girl business. Escape, escape. All he needs to say, uh, uh, they, they actually challenge him. That Gary man, he comes from Nazarene, so he should do better. Uh, have you been adultery? Well, he could have said, I'm sorry I have, but God had mercy. We believe him. He said, I shouldn't ask that. Don't say, I shouldn't ask that. Say, I have done that. I'm sorry. We don't. That's honesty. It's in the mistake. It's a sin. I'm sorry. I only wish Baker did say a little bit. I wish he'd say that. See, a, a subjectivity is truth. I must face it and find the honest answer. How can I find the answer inside me when I'm a nasty person? I must find I'm a nice person, by a leap of faith. I discover the nasty person was Satan in me, and Jesus Christ put him out, and the nice person is Jesus in me, so I'm a nice person. I find it inside me. And I, now my body shows it. Harmony. I'm a Jesus person. Because I was a Satan person, and we all our stuff, and the Satan was put out by Jesus, and I believe the leap of faith, I can't prove it. That's why somebody called you yesterday. Clear God says we walk on 60,000 fathoms of water. <laughs> you walk, life is built on doubt. Doubt is suffering. Paul says, Clear God, you always suffer. Faith is built on doubt. You can't prove it. 
uh, 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 Richard told that bit in his thing he's going through. The battle of faith. Uh, can't prove it. Shall I starve? Shall I do this? You know, can't prove it. You can't prove you're saved. You've only got a book. Who, who says the book's true anyhow? <laughs> so it's, you can't prove anything. You've got a, the leaf inside you. And of course you get the inside person, but you can't prove him. The Holy Spirit says, oh, well, yes, that's so oh, I see. You can't prove that. You're a fool of faith. It's the foolishness of faith. The wisdom of God, which is wiser than men. The weakness of God, that's the weakness. I can't prove it. But somehow you know it. And to the world of what I'm talking about. This is inner suffering resolved. We, and all life is resolving inner suffering. But what I have to face is that it's always suffering. It's always suffering. And we touched it yesterday. One of you talked about it a bit. I, I get your name. Uh, talked about uh, put, being pulled and getting back again, being pulled to self. Say that's Satan pulling me. Go back. To, uh, that uh, was, and then Page took it up as far as I could hear uh, yesterday. Pick it up. Of course, that's our principle. Uh, so you see, uh, suffering means I'm pulled into what I don't like. But I'm supposed to like everything. Oh, then I'm off beam. I don't like it, but I'm supposed to like everything. Jesus took three hours to get his inner self right. I don't like cross, but I better like it, because I've come to do it. Not my will, but thine be done. The cup which my father has given me shall not drink it. But it took him three hours to say that one. So it's not out of place to be pulled by suffering. And it may be suffering by imagination, by what you think may come, or what has come, or might come. It's not the point. It may come on the feeling level, of course, that's the soul level. Uh, oh, I don't feel imagination, feel full of life, life's full of, we're f precious, we're full of feelings. We use our feelings rightly, we love each other, or meant to. We, learn a we need to lead, learn a few things like that among ourselves these days. We're meant to anyhow. And uh, uh, all, the, all feeling can be the other around, fear and fuss and fate and so on. Or it can be physical, but it doesn't matter. So suffering has diverted me to something I don't like. It's meant to, so it puts me in the process of faith. A faith means I've got the inside, I've got to resolve an inside problem. I don't like that, whatever form it takes. I had one last night, an old, old landing was attacking me, so I'd better get back to faith. Uh, I like attackers. <laughs> uh, well, you all, what should I do with that? We must start there. Jesus started there. You must start there. That's why I'm sorry, I'm still sorry we don't put Lanyon. Then he says, don't live by what you see. We need Lanyon. He isn't always right on everything, but he's right on that. Don't live by this. Don't be affected by this, this, this house burns down. If it does burn down, there's another one coming. See through the burned down house to the new house. And, but we must stop by being hurt by a burned down house. We must be real. So we have to start suffering. We don't like this, don't like this, don't like this. And, but you cannot resolve it by saying, oh, it'll pass over. That's what the world does. Oh, it'll pass, it's a mistake. It isn't a mistake, it's adultery. It isn't a mistake, it's an alcohol, drunkard, murder or something. It isn't a mistake. Cut the word mistake out. It shows how hypocritical we are. We talk about, even, even Reagan talks about mistakes. There aren't mistakes there. Think he should have done better, said he should so. Dark mistakes, they're real. Mistakes, mistakes is babyhood objectivity. You don't live an objective out here, you live in subject is what's it mean to me? Why don't I solve that? What's happened? Why have I got a mess? What's the mess? How can I turn the mess into a solution? Inside me. And you don't read that, maybe, because even if they turned a uh, uh, God, he, he, uh, his great word, existation, is the greatest word, but uh, we turn that into heresy. You know, Schaefer and fi silly men like that attack, attack the great Kiergaard. Kiergaard and Burma are the two greatest men. Jacob Burma, the mystic, and Kiergaard, the philosopher, are the two greatest men. Out of them I learned something. And his subjectivity is, what you, uh, what is subjectivity is, uh, exists, existence, subject, your subject, you exist, your subject, not an object. Subjectivity is just you, 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 not out here. 
find the answer in the you? Why, why don't I like that? Why is that doing this? No, then the answer's in me. And of course, the answer is the, 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 the absurdity of faith. It's in a person who came once, they say he came, they say he died, and they say he rose again, and I believed it. And if I don't believe that, the whole thing, I'm most miserable. And I'm, I'm, I'm believing this person, and this, by the leap of faith, the, the solution, the solution, the solution. And he's God's devil. Now you get it. Finally, he's God's devil. And Jesus found Calvary as God's devil. The cup my father had given me. Now, he said at the at supper table, the prince of this world cometh, and nothing in me. Everything on him. Everything on him. Nothing in me. Oh, he got it there. But even he had to go, go to Gethsemane and face it out. The prince of this world cometh. He, he, uh, my day has come. Mind you, Jesus lived under threat of death. We baby people th call police if somebody threatens us, threatens us with death and we get guardians on us. Baby stuff. Jesus lived from his first miracle when he, when he, when he on the Sabbath day, he raised that person going to water and uh, healed them. And they said, from that day, we're going to kill this man. So he lived under threat of death. He comes here, my day has to come. They won't get me yet, but he was under threat. He lived under threat. That's suffering. He didn't just get threatened later on. He was always threatened. And we howl if we're threatened. And we made a great fuss. My, one of my dear missionaries had a great fuss just recently. Some burglar got into a house. We're all in a magazine commiserating the, her bravery. Goodness me. As if it's a terrible thing we were threatened by a burglar. We be raped and glorified. Several of our women have been raped and glorified God. One of our greatest women is one great woman because she's raped and glorified God and told everybody. And she's been, she's blessed thousands since. She went back to people who raped her to win them for Christ. See, we, we all escape. Don't, objectivity escapes. Subjectivity resolves, resolves inside you. Now, we've all done that because you wouldn't be if you hadn't. You resolved it of your sins. You resolved it inside you. By Jesus, you couldn't prove. The Spirit had to take you, he's a real Jesus, did do this, and it, the thing is done, and therefore your sins aren't there, and so on and so forth, and you, and you found your peace resolved. The, 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 the truth that edifies is truth to you. Pierre God said that. Edifies is a, the truth that edifies, it edifies you. Oh, yeah, that's peace with God, of course. The truth edifies you, you're a safe sinner. Inside you, not outside. That's this thing. That's subjectivity. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Through an absurdity of a, a, a faith you can't prove. You have a book, you can't even prove the book. And the spirit, who is he? Some weird person got and done something to me, I don't know. <laughs> but that is, he's real to me. And the truth edifies, I live by that, we live by that. We now find the edification where Christ has us. That's our deeper edification. We where Satan is us, now where Christ has us. We, that's our great secret, of course. That truth that edifies is truth that we die for it. Give ourselves for it. Because life is passion. Life is, we're made of passion. Of course we are made of fire. Everything's fire. God's fire. Because fire and his fire become blessed fire, light, light. Or consume each other one. So the Bible calls it fire and light. Tremendous realization that. Hebrews, Hebrews 12, consuming fire. Fire consumes or something happens to it becomes light. A death, we know scientifically, a death in this, this uh, uh, helium atom business and it releases in, 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 in energy and becomes light. Instead of birds, blesses. That's a paradox. What burns, blesses, when it's when it resolved inside it. It's resolved in, its, in, its, in the sun element. And what's resolved in the sun element from helium fused, that's what they try to do with the fusing the atom, of course. When the he fuse it, out comes the, 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 this new power. New power's light. And the whole life, electricity is light. Walter Russell taught us that, the secret of light. Light is electricity. Light, uh, light, light. God is light. This is light. Everything's light. Everything's light. Light fire in an in, in a, a, a edifying form. Self-giving form. Self-getting form. Fire to self-getting. Light to self-giving. And that's what God's, God is, was, is. Yeah. Fire, light. And we become that. And we're all fire. We're passionate. Of course we're passionate. Thank God we're passionate. 
Depends where your passion goes. Lust is a beautiful word. You burn with lust. Depends what kind of lust. So, we've got, we put bad connotations in some of those words, but th there they are. And the word in Greek is epithumia, which means strong desire. With lust of I lusted to eat with this, to feast, feast with you in kingdom, Jesus said. The Greeks just, we, have to, we use the word lust, out, it's really just strong desire. Passion. And now our passion goes into this. Our passion goes into give Jesus the, the solution we've got, the inner solution. And give people the whole, the whole business now, I as he. But suffering, suffering. So you see, suffering is every form of thing, trial, suffering, is, I don't like it. And we're always getting, all life consists in that. You see what Paul said, uh, per, uh, perplexed, who isn't perplexed? Who isn't perplexed? Don't run away, accept your perplexity and turn it into solution. Don't run away and say, oh, well, we'll find an answer somewhere. Get the answer inside you. That's God. Subjectivity, get it inside you. Find the answer to that perplexity. The text was not, uh, well, said, but not in despair. Oh, I see. It's a bit of a mess, but it's God's mess. You watch. God's coming through that mess. Now then, I've got inner harmony. And uh, the, 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 I've died then. I've died to being governed by negative perplexity. I've turned perplexity. It's God's perplexity. So God has a, I mean, I quite see how yet, but God has the answer. I'm satisfied. I'm watching for God's answer. Now I'm back in the harmony, in the life of the body is coming, his life, the resurrection of life is coming through our body. Other people could catch the harmony. All life is that, in every form, pressure, pressure, suffer, suffering, every life. Life built out, don't kid ourselves. But the point of getting it is, you then see it's the background of glory. We are fighting our sufferings, that the poor world's fighting our sufferings, mainly trying to escape it by calling it mistake or something, and trying to escape it. Uh, or dissolve it somehow, and uh, put up our terrific armaments, all this ridiculous stuff. Get the, get the nation to debt through doing it. All this miserable stuff we do. Fear, fear. We just, so we have to do it out of stuff, make our elements and all this sort of stuff. We, uh, we uh, existentialism, f uh, suffer, solve it inside you. Find the solution inside you. And there's a solution inside you, of course, it's God's, it's God's stuff. It's God's devil. That's the thing Jesus came to, it's God's devil. The devil will crucify me. Uh, uh, I told you, the prince this world cometh had nothing in me. Subjectivity. Outwardly, objectively, tore him. Tore him to bits. Inwardly, he didn't get him. And you're an inner person. This is only passing. These things that are seen in temple. Like affliction. Inside is me. And Jesus was an existentialist. He, Satan has nothing in me. But it took him three hours to settle it. After that, was set, that was supper table. Then he went out to the garden. And for three hours he said, well, I, I don't like this now. I, I, I don't like this. I don't, if, if it's possible, I don't want to do it. That's real. Of course, we see to Satan, because see, uh, uh, um, tem uh, Satan on the tempting level is good practice. Satan's only a nuisance when he gets us into sin, but that's only occasional. <laughs> So, tempting level is good, is good practice. And occasionally it goes into sin, then it's trouble, but that's only rare. And so Jesus had Satan on tempting level. Not my will. He sensed that this was Satan saying, come on, come on, you shouldn't do that. Come on, come on, come on. No, I should do it, because God said I should do it. He was inside him in bloody sweat. In the, uh, they couldn't meet with that prayer. They went to sleep. Three times over, alone. Alone in the garden, but inside him, inside him, it came out in some bloody kind of sweat of some kind, but it's inside him, he resolved it. And then when they did take, the, when the when the soldiers did come, you know, and uh, Peter took, cut the ear off the high priest servant and all that, and uh, Jesus healed him, he said, "Suffer that the cup which my Father has given me." He got it. The devil was God's cup, so I've resolved it when the. The, the enemy becomes your friend, becomes your means in which God does something. A cup of my Satan with God's cup, God's cup. That's inner solution. That's that's bear, That's a perplexity, not in despair. Persecution, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. But you are first cast down. 
and you offer us perplexed, you offer us persecution. And that's the suffering. So there isn't glory without suffering. Now we all suffer, you see, until I recognize that, I must uh, get his principle. We all, everybody suffers, the poor world suffers, but don't want to do with it. We're the people, we're the people, people who do know what to do with it. That's our point. The world, we all suffer, but don't want to do with it. We do know what to do with it. Inside you only. You do not know outside. You have to rever re re reverse the outside into the inside and find the answer inside it. Existentialism. In existence. In existence. Who, how do I respond? I'm in existence. I'm inside me. How do I respond? I don't like it. Where's the response? Now, uh, wait, wait, wait. That I is that Satan getting at me. My real I is Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Satan gets at my suffering. Satan gets at me. Don't like it. Don't like it. Must start that way. Gets me. As well you suggest to you, pulled. You see, this is, and, and so we always get pulled. And the, and, and the whole life is how to resolve the pulling by saying, well, I am pulled, but I forget who I am. That's all. A praise boy out yesterday, and the other one, I forget what you we well, talked about it. Page put it up last night. Very good. Uh, you're pulled. You must be pulled, and that pull is Satan on you. That's not. That's that's good health. That's good practice. That's all. Uh, see, may take may take days. May 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 take long time. If you, if you're a learner, it may take. It took even Jesus three hours. That's Jesus. So that's okay. And being pulled. Satan's saying, ear, ear, ear. And you hear him, you hear him. You see it in situations, imaginations and something. Hear him. Ear, ear, ear. And that's real. They wait a minute, I go inside myself. I go inside myself. Inside myself, I hi, you're not that, you, you're me. Hi, you're not that stuff, you're me. Now inside you move, you move back to who you are. You always were, just forgotten. So it takes me to forget who you are, and you must do so to be real, and the suffering is there. And the suffering begins to be glory, when it's still suffering, but uh, God's got an answer. You watch. You watch. God's, got, God's, got, God's playing tricks. He's going to turn this thing into a good thing. He turned Calvary into resurrection. No resurrection, no Calvary. I mean the other world. No Calvary, no resurrection. I mean that. That couldn't be what we are forever, but for Calvary. It had to be walked. He prayed that he might, uh, he prayed he shouldn't be died. Interesting. He, he says he prayed, you know, uh, um, he prayed that, uh, that, uh, that he shouldn't be, die. He did die, but the die was, uh, the outer die, of course, the resurrection. So there it is. So you see, all life is this. It's under every kind of form. Big forms, little forms, outer forms, inner forms. All life is suffering. Because this is the only way you're perfected. You've got to be pressed into the thing, like you learn your, you talk about being a doctor, until you learn your medicine, until you practice it. Until we learn our Christ, and you practice it. <laughs> See, it's, it, 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 the, the suffering, it, it's a necess, it, it, it perfects us. It, it's the only way. And everything God had it. Now that's the mystery we can't wholly probe, probe, probe. Where it says God can't lie, it means there came a time when God turned down being a self for self. Now, we, that's the best we can say, because it, it, that's, that's using temporal terms, eternal facts, which can't quite fit together. But somewhere in eternity, there was that amount of suffering. A God who could have been me for me, brought his son into being, I'm me for you. And the fire became a light. There's a death there. There's a death in God. And that's the glory of Jacob Burma gave us that. We talked about that this morning. And then uh, 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 Alan Parker, the lawyer, picked it up and produced that little booklet, that, uh, the Death in the Heart, of, a Cross in the Heart of God. 